Right, here we are on the 18th green of the Earth course um, with Mark Tupling, the agronomy manager here at Jamira Golf Estates. Welcome to the magazine, Mark. Thank you, Bob. So, how long have you been in this role as the agronomy manager here? Um, here I've been a manager for the last two years. I uh, came out here in 2007, May 2007 for the construction. So I've been here since, uh, well, for the last five years. It's quite a big, a big role here. You've got two golf courses. How many members have you got in your team that you look after? Uh, 70. A full head count, a little bit more. Uh, we've had some uh, staff leave naturally over the last well, 12 months to two years. Do you, do you take on any more staff for the actual event itself, or is it just the same yeah, team? Yeah, we take on about 30 extra, just temporary staff that we get from a local uh, hire company. That's okay. So, what are some of the challenges managing managing this team? So it's quite a big team, and I would have thought it's quite diverse as well. Yeah, we've about 60% Filipinos. Um, the balance is either Nepali, about 40%, 35%. We've got some uh, Pakistanis and Indians as well. Um, challenges mainly is language, as you'd probably imagine. We've got a good team of supervisors that help to uh, translate any instructions that that aren't uh, kind of a normal conversational point, but they're generally pretty good with English. Okay, so back to the actual event. Um, one week to go today. Uh, how is the course condition in your opinion? It's good. Yeah, it's in the right place. It's exactly where we want it to be. Uh, with greens, we're just going to start taking down now and get some speeds up. So compared to the last couple of years, um, are the routines the same or is it different every year? Uh, the last year it's very, very similar. Um, the first two years we had just Bermuda grass. We didn't have the rye grass that you can see this year. Which uh, it, There's a few changes there, but generally it's the same. And how's it been this year? Any more any problems, any issues that you can... What, different again it's, from last year? It's a little hot right now. Yeah. This time last year it was generally 5 degrees cooler across the board, uh, morning and afternoon. Uh, two days ago it's still 39 degrees, which for this region it's not particularly hot, but for this time of year it's very hot. So is it, how difficult is it to like, maintain the course when you've got to actually keep it open for general play before the course? Is there a time period that it closes down or, or yeah, anything like the, that? The, the biggest challenge that we face here is we've still got to present another golf course in fire and keep that at a good standard. So um, we close uh, about four weeks out for overseeding um, and then we've basically closed. We had a small window there where we opened for members. Um, but okay. it's, it's, it's quite common with norm, to, tournament courses where you'd close a little bit before. So in, in your role, it must be quite difficult not to be a perfectionist. Is that something yeah. you call yourself? I would never say I was a perfectionist. Um, I try and work with what I've got and make the best of it. Um, yes, we all like to see it better. I, th I think that every year we set goals for the next tournament. That's what we've done in the past. And every year we try and raise that bar a little bit higher. Probably the best way really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So how difficult is it when you see, like, during the actual tournament, when you see people, players, people walking around the grass areas on your work that you've prepared, is that difficult to take? We or? do it for that. We do it for that very reason. Yeah. Um, we set the golf course up. It's for the it's for primarily, obviously, for the players, but a lot of the stuff we do is for the television and for the, the spectators and patrons that come. So, yeah, if we see an area of wood chip, we'll get out there and fix it. Yeah. We're not going to sit and dwell. Oh, great. Another thing that's uh, obviously important, uh, you, you must be on some sort of call or, or permanently available for this event in case any problems arise in the evening. Yeah. Uh, how, does, how does that work? It, it's tough. Uh, between myself and my assistant, uh, we're on call 24 hours a day. We've got a night guy here that's monitoring the irrigation. So uh, if, if anything should fail with the irrigation, then we come out and try and uh, rectify it. Okay. I mean, mentioned again about both courses. Do you treat them differently, or is it because di they're built differently? They are slightly I mean... different. This is uh, obviously a lot more tree-lined. Fire's got more uh, feature grass in the rough. Um, I try and keep them exactly the same. To that degree, we just do little slight changes here and there with mowing heights. Fire's a little bit more rugged, uh, more of a lynx-type course, whereas this is more of a parkland. But during during the summer, the grass types are exactly the same, so they have the same programs. Now in this region we get something called a shamal, which is like a, like a sandstorm. Yeah, they come yeah, infrequently. They and too well. Yeah. Do they cause any problems for you? Uh, they have. They did do in the start. Now you see the trees have matured a lot. Um, fire's a little bit more open, and we get the, the bunker sand. You know, often drifts out in a in a bad one. Um, they were really bad in the start when we had hardly any trees yeah. during construction. Okay, that's interesting. We've had a, we had a tree actually fall down last week in the Shamal. Yeah, it was a big one week. a couple of weeks ago, as you say, yeah. Yeah, so we had a tree fall down on the 12th of that. 
Okay, finally, you're an avid golfer yourself when you get the chance. Um, yeah, yeah. Have you have you played the Earth course recently, or when's the last uh, time you played the actual course? Months and months ago. Um, what did you score? I normally shoot around 80. Uh, I'd like to play off the back tee so we see the way the pros see it. So. Okay, so who do you think is going to win the DP World Tour Championship this year? Uh, I'd like to see Rory win it. I'd like to see that same thing happen that Westwood did. He won the race to Dubai and this uh, Dubai World Championship. Or uh, DP World Tour Championship this year. Uh, another favourite, I think Poulter would be a good ambassador for this tournament. Mm. He's got a very big charisma and after the year he's had with the Ryder Cup, I think it'll be a good end to his season. Okay Mark, thank you for your time and uh, we wish you all the luck for the event next week. Thank you very much. And take care.